hello everyone so welcome to the channel of rd technical learning so in this video we will be seeing the java interview question that is commonly asked for the freshers as well as for experienced write a java program to find whether the number is prime or not right now in this video we will be seeing the logic of the program also we will be explaining you how to write this program in an interview okay so let me share my screen but before that if you're watching this video for the very first time then please do hit like share and subscribe our channel now what is prime number okay so prime number is something that is only divisible by that particular number or one so let's take an example of five okay so five is divisible by one or five is divisible by five itself similarly you can take an example of seven which is divisible by itself and it is divisible by one okay every number will be divisible by one okay now if you take an example of nine okay nine is divisible by one nine and three also so if you divide nine by three you'll get remainder as zero right so what we will be doing is we will be taking the variable right integer number equal to any number which you want to check is prime or not right and we will be taking one more uh, variable int temp okay for this temp let's hold on for some time i'll tell you why we are taking temp in the detail after some time right so we'll take for loop okay in for loop we'll go for i equal to Right. So if, see, in these type of programming interview questions, whenever you get such kind of questions, whether you have to find the factorial, you have to find the prime number. So for loops will be the most, uh, you know, important one, which will be used. Okay, there are other logics also, but you can easily come to the solution of such kind of Java interview question in using for loop itself, right? Right, so now let's go for for loop. So in for loop, what we will do is we'll take i equal to two. Why we are starting with two? Because every number will be divisible by one, right? Any any number you take, whether it's a prime number, even odd, any number would be divisible by one. So hence we are starting for i equal to two. Simple. Now, one more catches. Let's say if you have to find whether prime number is, whether seven is a prime number or not right so you will check with one two three four five six right so you will start with one number okay you will start with one number right but one is always uh, you know any any number is always divisible by one so we'll start with two so what we did is we are checking with n minus one number right from the number equal to 2 to n minus number one number right because after this 7 itself will come so we will not uh, check with 7 7 or 1 right no we'll check with all these numbers in the for loop let's take one more example if you want to check for 5 okay so we'll check with 2 3 4 if you want to check for 9 we'll check with 2 3 4 five six seven eight are you understanding this logic right so what we are doing is we are not checking with one because it will be divisible by one always that will give you yes pass true we are checking with adding one number after one so two and whatever the number we are checking for that is n minus one nine eight five four seven six Okay, so now let's complete this for loop i equal to 2, i less than equal to, what is the number we have, right, number minus 1. We'll start with number minus 1, whatever the number we have, we'll take number minus 1, i plus plus, okay, right, and then right we'll have this for loop so this for loop is good now okay so now every time 
this number will be traversed next number will be taken and every time it will be incremented now next condition is if number whatever the number we have right that is coming and the modulus operator we are using it right if it is fully completely divisible right if the remainder is zero right then we'll say sop it's prime okay sorry it's not a prime right else it's a prime now you will see that this is a for loop actually okay now if i run this for loop it will continuously tell me not a prime number not a prime number not a prime number right hence what we have done is we have used temp variable right and we will increment this temp with one we'll take temp value as zero first we'll increment it by one if temp becomes one right then we'll mark it's a prime number if temp equal to one right then we'll mark it's not a prime okay else it's a prime simple so now this program we will be writing in the eclipse intellij eclipse intellij whichever you are comfortable with you can use this no problem but intellij is far more better i have some uh, issue setup issues so i am using this okay let's give as prime okay so prime we have got okay so what we did integer let's take one number integer number equal to seven okay integer temp equal to zero okay for loop we will use for i equal to we'll start from two right i is less than equal to number right and i plus plus sorry we have to use number right i less than equal to number so we'll use this here right we'll take number minus one for loop right if number okay so now what we will do modulus operator and we'll divide this number with each i starting from two three four five six right is equal to zero okay then we need temp equal to temp plus one okay so now Okay, this integer i we have to put here it's simple simple things yeah so very very simple program and it is very straightforward you don't have to do rocket science in this it is such a simple program right number equal to seven we are taking here right and now we have to check for print statements okay if temp is greater than if temp is greater than what what will you write if temp is greater than it is greater than one then we'll write system dot out dot print ln right if it is greater than one not a prime number So L statement will write. 
next one. Nine. Right, so we are getting this error because we have not closed if. So let me close if, right? Otherwise, if will feel set that you are not closing me and you are running ahead. So let's make him happy. Okay, okay, let me put this up. Okay, number is equal to seven. It's a prime number. Let's take number equal to 12, which is not a prime number. not a prime number right so this is a simple java program which you can write whether a number is prime or not and this is a java interview question also when you are going for testing automation uh, kind of interviews then you will get this uh, questions a lot right so please prepare this uh, program please go through this video and please do hit uh, like button please do comment about the other programs that you would like to see right appreciate the uh, hard work that is done creating these programs right so thank you so much and stay tuned for more updates